Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 19th, 2020. We're going to dive right in, but first and foremost, thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And of course, I have courses at Gumroad and my website is angelsouls444.com. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. So I'm just going to dive right in because this week... <laughs> I don't even know how to put this, okay? I don't even know how to put this. So we might have a shot here at some good energy where we can take a little bit of a rest. We can kind of rejuvenate a little bit. But there's a bigger thing that's about to crack open, and we know that, right? This is going to be happening over the course of several years. However, the message I think I'm supposed to be <laughs> delivering here would have to do with us waking up to our own tendencies, waking up and not being an enabler, waking up and not being toxic, waking up and not being in denial, but really looking at a truth within us. What are our patterns? Where do we make excuses for people's bad behavior? Where do we turn our faces away when we know we need to speak up? Uh, when we do speak up, are we jumping to conclusions? Okay, so where can we find our peace and when are we going to wake up to this immense manipulation now I am NOT speaking to conspiracy theorists okay I'm not talking about that what I'm talking about is the mundane manipulations how often do we go along with that Queen Bee just because we think she has power over us she's the weakest member why are you following her sorry okay. I just realized that my camera was a little crooked I had to stop <laughs> and fix that but what I was uh, getting ready to say is how many times are we convinced that we can't trust our own instincts. And so we go to spiritual practitioners. This is one of the things we're going to be talking about today. Uh, the fraudulent behavior in this community and with any kind of belief system. All right. So we get convinced that we don't know anything. We need to lean on somebody else. And eventually we allow the surface level story to overtake us in such a manner that when we watch a video like this, we want to hear what do I need to know for this week? How do I do my life? Tell me what's going to happen so that there are no surprises. That's not what this is about. This isn't about cowering in your own life and waiting for someone to give you permission to move. And even when there are predictive readings, remember that's, that's an energy of where we are right now you have free will to change it. You can take accountability for your own happiness, your own life. Now, I know, you know, we all believe that uh, we have this soul's contract. A lot of people believe that in the spiritual community that we have a soul's contract and that we have to learn these lessons and, you know, all of that. But that doesn't mean that we get to go into magical thinking or victimhood or, um, you know, just not trying anymore because we get so overwhelmed. Your life is not going to be perfect. We're, we're designed for it not to be perfect. Now, Dr. Romani has some really great videos out there about narcissism and specifically about toxic positivity. This is something that I have not been very articulate about, but what I've been attempting to say <laughs> for years and years and years. My intention in sitting here and doing this kind of work was not to have a codependent um, kind of dynamic with my viewers or my clients. But that's what's happened because when I got in here and I got on social media, it was all you know, cluster B personality uh, type people. I'm not a psychologist, but all of these, isn't it weird that I have to keep disclaiming that I'm not a psychologist and yet all of these companies can go out and give you diet pills when they don't have a medical degree? Just saying. Anyway, you know, so check with an expert. But, you know, it does attract those types because they want to feed, they want to diminish, they want to humiliate you so they feel powerful or they just want to hear how great they are or blah, 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 how many gifts they have and, you know, this sort of thing. That is not the intention, especially for me, in doing this kind of work. I came into this kind of work because I've experienced abuse and I was trying <laughs> to find a way to come in and one part of the intention was to, um, I don't know, and I was very naive back then, to kind of put the call out and say, hey guys, be careful with this so that you don't go through what I've been through. Turns out it's very dangerous to call out narcissists, specifically, I guess, and so they go on the attack. And so, you know, the, the, we're getting into weird times right now where we're going to start getting clarity around what I just described. You'll get clarity around 
a situation in your life where you're not going into, aha, I got you kind of mode, aha, I caught you, but where you back up, we're in this observation mode where I think a lot of us are going to be stunned. We're going to be stunned and we're just going to kind of sit back and go, okay, I just got to watch what plays out. I have to heal my heart. Uh, I need to be tuned into my own harmony and peace and help where I can, but back up when I'm starting to become an enabler. See, this is another huge issue here. I always, it's not a joke, but I kind of joke <laughs> that we're already in the zombie apocalypse. The zombie apocalypse would be the dark ones that have completely denied their souls and they go and bite an enabler and now that person's thinking just like the dark person. You know, even though they themselves still have a good heart, they just don't realize what they're doing. They're participating in the abuse, okay? We all need to wake up to this. Why am I not very popular on YouTube? <laughs> because I'm one of those people where I'm like, shoo, get, no, get out of here. No, I'm not playing into this. I'm not going to just tell you what you want to hear. No, enabler, you're not going to come and try to make me feel guilty because I set a boundary with a narcissist. You don't even know who you're talking to. My whole life has been with narcissists, okay, and dealing with them. I didn't just have one relationship. I thought that kind of behavior was normal, all right? So what I'm getting at here is that these are just some examples of how we need to click out of our brainwashing, okay, and start looking at what really is going on. That person that just always <sighs> tries to look like a good person, are they taking little digs at you? Anybody have some, since all these aspects have been going on, have you had any weird encounters with customer service people who act like you're the problem? They completely, their company has completely messed everything up and caused problems for you. And when you try to get the solution, they act like, and like actually talk down to you and stuff, which is really inappropriate. Um, I had one customer service team after they made a whole debacle say, next time, please be more mindful about what shipping address you put on things. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? You, you could have saved us all a lot of time if you did this. Yeah, okay? So it's just weird. And, and people are getting so self-centered that there's no empathy left. There's no compassion. Nobody's even considerate of one another, right? I'm in an environment where, I think I, I told you guys this a couple of weeks ago, I got one neighbor that's banging everything around at five in the morning, another one's screaming on her balcony, She's not screaming because she's in trouble. She's screaming because she's having a loud conversation. Okay, like, and, and it's just, I don't know if I'm the big weirdo out here, but I just think that's strange. Like, <laughs> when I get up in the morning, I tiptoe across, I don't tiptoe, but I walk softly across my floor because I'm aware that it's 5 a.m. Whether I was in a house or an apartment, I could wake somebody up, okay? My point is this, where is the consideration for others? Where is this self-righteousness coming from? These are the things that we have to look at within our own selves. I know last week I was having a rough time and weird story, you ready for this? I picked up a wine glass, okay? And there was no cracks in it. And as I'm standing there, it cracked. It was cracked. Okay, so that must, it must have been there before I picked it up and I just didn't notice it. Toss that aside, it was a brand new wine glass too, so I was bummed. Then, as I'm trying to clean up the kitchen, Weirdly, I knocked over a bottle of wine, which normally would just kind of clunk on the table and I could catch it. No, this thing went flying off the table, crashed on the floor. Of course it was red wine, went everywhere, glass went everywhere. And I had a moment of, <laughs> what is happening? You know, and just, okay, and we're out of paper towels, so I can't even, what is happening, right? So these, these things are, um, these little, things. I know we're not supposed to sweat the small stuff, but we can't be stupid either. Okay. And, and I'm not telling you this story that, so that we can get into magical thinking and be like, it was your power that cracked the glass. Stop. Okay. Just stop. All right. We have to look at what the emotional reaction is. In that moment, does it stink that <laughs> weird stuff was, this all happened within a matter of like 15 minutes, the wine glass and the wine bottle. Okay. Weird, weird, I'll give that to you, it was weird. But what were, what were my emotions? Now, if you want to, you know, say metaphorically, it was you cracking or what, yeah, sure, I cracked in that moment. Because there's only so much a human being can take. 
and I had to let it out. I had to let, I, I let out some yelling. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on? And blah, blah. You know, have my little meltdown. And then I got it cleaned up. I breathed a little bit and I was okay. We have to start looking at, number one, without policing one another, okay? Just having more of an awareness of our own responses to things and what might be behind that. Do we need to get reconnected, okay? At the same time, not beating yourself up when you are having a bad day. And don't let these, you know, I'm telling you guys, these toxic people in the spiritual community who are fake, fake, fake. There, there are so few people who are authentic in this line of work. So few. I, I, I don't know what else I can say to make you understand. You can believe me or don't, all right? But they'll tell you that you're just supposed to remain positive and you're not supposed to feel anything. They're basically telling you to deny being human. And what will happen? It will fester. You will be unhappy. And because you're in escapism and in denial, how do you ever get the chance to heal, right? But when we, when we you know, get in that denial space and we're not honoring our feelings, we're not processing, then what happens? You take it out on your kids. These beautiful, innocent beings, okay, taking it out on them. Or you become remiss in, uh, you know, showing up for somebody when, when you said you would. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like you start to, you start to crack. You start to crack. So these are the things that we're learning. Just because you might have a little bit of a respite this coming week doesn't mean that there isn't work to do or that, uh, th that we're going to lose sight of the bigger picture, all right? But please, I'm sp the narcissists, I, you know, I know you're here. I know you comprise a big part of my audience. I mean, that's just how it goes for a lot of spirituality stuff um, or any belief system that you want to look at. But enablers... I'm talking to you more specifically because I think there's still a little, little bit of a chance of you waking up and going, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't just give in to that person. Oh, maybe I shouldn't just make excuses for bad behavior. There's more to this than I could ever put into words. And when I sat down, I, I was tempted to say, first thing, what I have to say to you, you don't want to hear. But that's the tricky thing about this. That's true. In 2019, well, actually for years, I've been feeling something was coming in 2020. I was talking about it. But I was seeing, especially in 2019, as we were getting closer, I saw people face down and they couldn't breathe. Do you really think I was going to sit on a video and tell you guys that? Go ahead and scoff. Go ahead and scoff. I am one person. And currently, I don't have too many people backing me up on what I say. I had to be careful with that. Why? Because I'm human and I could be wrong. What if I'm picking up on this in my intuition, insight, kind of seeing patterns and you know, even historical patterns? If you want to take a more logistical standpoint with this. This was bound to happen, all right? I felt like we were in prison. But maybe me as a human, I didn't want to acknowledge that it could be this. But the reason why I'm telling you that is that I could never sit on camera and say that. And I find myself in that position even now. There are things coming up, like I said, that there's really no language for. We're gonna be stunned. People are gonna whine, they're gonna cry. There are gonna be people saying, oh, I'm not getting enough attention. And people who are actually hurting and hanging on by a thread who are just being quiet about it, they're not gonna get the help that they need. Why? Because these people are draining us. It happens. It is considered normal. That's the message I feel like I have to bring up. If you need to get mad, I don't care. <laughs> Guys, as I've always said, use my videos as a study. Okay, as a study, when you see those comments of the people losing their minds and being diminishing and going, yeah, but, uh, you know, or whatever, <laughs> that is, you know, narcissistic injury. They're, they're responding. They don't like when people talk about this, right? 
And as I say that, you know, there have been a lot of weird things happening. I can discuss this more, I guess, in November, but there was a warning put up on my YouTube channel that now stays for the life of my channel. Why? Uh, Goddess Provisions provided me with an affiliate link. You guys remember I used to review that box. And maybe there was a typo in there or something. But anyway, YouTube flagged it. And all it would have taken was an email saying, hey, there's something weird about that link. You need to take it down. I would have done it in 0.5 seconds. Instead, they threw a warning on my channel. I appealed it. They gave the warning in June. In September, they said, no, we gave it careful consideration. Okay. Careful consideration, it stays. It stays for the life of your channel. And then I went back and told Goddess Provisions. And at first they were like, we don't know anything about that. That was the people who provided us with the link. And then I said, no, this is serious. Like this is, I just got a warning for no reason, <laughs> right? Like these are the kinds of weird things that are happening. I went back to Goddess Provisions and they said they would reach out to YouTube on my behalf, but then I never heard anymore. So I have no idea what's going on there. And it's fine. I know we're all in weird times, but what's not fine to me is this idea of, you know, Here's another example of you could sit and do the work, okay? You can sit and do the work and out of the blue, for whatever reason, someone can say, I mark you as this and my word is final. Listen, you want to know what's to come? It's, I mean, we could choose to fight. But I don't know that fighting, if fighting helped, it, it, like, that's all we ever do is fight. It would have been done by now. But uh, fighting clearly it doesn't work. We have to just sort of let things unfold, I think. So understand what I'm saying here. I'm giving a lot of examples, but I have to because we have to crack open the fog, the, uh, the zombie dance that we're in, okay? <laughs> we're just like mindlessly going forward and going, oh, okay, just feed me whatever and, and I'll be one of you. Is there anybody out there who hasn't been affected? Is there anybody else out there that can also see? Where are you? I understand if you're afraid to stand up. This is terrifying to get on video every week. I understand. I know that we're getting exhausted too. We have to pay our own, you know, we have to pay our way, we have to pay our bills, we still have to be a, of this world. You know, as people love to say, in the world, but not of it. Okay, what I'm getting at here is that we have, you know, surface level things that we have to contend with as well. And I can't sit here and say I have all the answers. I never have. This is just me sitting down, one human being to other human beings and saying, hey, it's kind of what I'm picking up on. Let me reflect this back. This is what is filtering through me. Let me reflect this back. What can you do with it? What do you reflect back to me? And what can I do with that? You see, this human collaboration from a place of real love and compassion, not competition, not trying to destroy someone else so that we feel good about ourselves. It's messy. It's complicated. This is something that we could go on and on and on about. But you have an expectation, don't you? You want to see cards. Many of you would define that as the real reading. So let me give you what you want because that's where we are right now. Let's get onto the cards. You know, I don't mind using cards too much because, you know, something tangible, something a visual, something we can look at. Words have a frequency. Colors <laughs> matter. You know what's weird? I feel like this deck has like, has it warped? Oh my gosh, look at that. Do, can you guys see that? I don't know if you'll be able to see. You see how it's kind of like, like it doesn't want to stick together. Weird. I keep breaking everything I touch, so. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, guys. Mm, the want for debates, too. Everybody wanting to debate. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. And I keep hearing the kids are suffering. The kids are suffering for it. All right. First one out here is Celestite, soothe your soul. Soothe your soul. We have to disconnect. And I listen, when I say disconnect, do you know how many times I have heard, and I heard this right when I started doing this professionally. 
I have to disconnect from the news. I can't watch the news. I understand that to a certain extent, but some people take it way too far where they're like, I'm not listening to that narrative. They're just in this, like, I don't know, guys. Can you listen to know what's going on so that we know when to jump in and help? And I've been guilty of this too, not not for lack of caring or being like, I'm I'm too special and too sensitive to watch the news, but I'm over here dealing with something. I'm over here trying to help do whatever. And then someone says, hey, do you know that there are huge, you know, hurricanes happening? Oh, nope. I I didn't know that. So I go and I look to see what's happening for that part of the world. I don't just take news necessarily at face value. I might check with somebody who lives in that area and be like, hey, what's going on? Um, I just did that recently with someone who lives in Louisiana. Um, actually it was a couple of months ago now, I think, I don't remember, but anyway, uh, there was a hurricane coming. I said, Hey, what's going on? They're making it sound like it's the end of the world. And they said, you know, it's a hurricane. Um, but it's not anything that we haven't handled before. It's okay. So what I'm getting at here is we need to get out of this. That's part of the conditioning and part of the brainwashing that if you are spiritual, you have to avoid everything. Go watch that video. I told you about Dr. Romani toxic positivity. Go watch. It's going to tick some of you off because there was a part of the, some of the things that were being said. I don't think she meant it in a bad way, but I was kind of like, uh, (laughs) any of us out here who do this kind of work, we we do kind of fall into that category, I suppose, um, where we're just trying to keep people uplifted. But I know what she's saying and I agree with it. And I, and it's something, like I said before in the beginning of the video that I've been trying to get across for the longest time. We can't get codependent with spiritual practitioners. As a matter of fact, you give your power away. I don't sit here trying to be a guru. I don't sit here saying I have all the answers. I come and show up every week so we can connect. So that there's some chance that we can keep peace going. And by keeping peace going, you have to look at and process what is, what's there, what is our response to it, right? Okay. Then we have Black High and I set strong boundaries, exactly like what we're doing right here. We're going to, at least me, I'm, I have been for years stepping up and saying no. Look at these people. You can use social media, as I said. Look at the comments as a study. Look at the comments. Look at who gets all the subscribers. Now, I'm not saying that someone's going to try it. Oh, you're just jealous because you don't have more subscribers. I think it's interesting that people who just come out and they're just always positive. They're they're that toxic positivity thing that I've been telling you to look into. Um, You know, they got millions and millions of subscribers. Why? Because they're just telling people what they want to hear. Telling you. Here's the hardest part about sitting down and doing this video today. Because I knew I've talked a lot today, and I'm sorry. I know that no matter what I say here, it's probably useless. But we have expectations of a video every week and so I showed up and I'm doing it. For the most part, we're going to have to just go through it in order to understand it. I don't know that words are gonna hit it. Does that make sense? Next card, Iolite, shift your money mindset. So about money, everybody's all on the economy and everything. No, I'm not gonna go into that further. I won't. Citrine, bring in the light. Do I need to tell you more about that? (laughs) Bring in the light. All right, we need to start. Can we just be nice to each other? Can we just be kind and supportive and not codependent and not have, I can't pick up the deck, Um, not be, I I, I don't know how to say this. (laughs) Not be trying to take advantage, I guess. It's just, it's just it. When I pick the deck up, the wine and the wine decanter card, you know, the picture, I forget what it is, but it's like burgundy or something like that. That was on the bottom of the deck. I'm curious to see if it comes out <laughs> after the whole, the whole wine example. Oh no, it's lavender. Okay. All right. So lavender connect to body, mind, and soul. The number is 44. So there is a need here to reset, but not in this, uh, mm pretentious kind of way, not in this way of, oh, I, you know, I've mastered my spirituality. Let me hit you with this one. There is not one single person out there, especially in the spiritual community, who's any better than anybody else. Watch. 
the comments. Let the narcissist play. Look at them. Watch them. Observe them. Don't engage. I, 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 that's a lesson I'm learning is to not engage. Because, you know, when you do go through a lot with narcissists, you do kind of want to just have your say and come out and say, no, it's not that. I'm tired of you making me seem like I'm this beast or <laughs> whatever. Um, but as I'm learning more and more, that's not the correct way to handle it. But we can look at and start being aware of where do we put our support? Who do we get behind and for what reason? What are we getting out of our favorite YouTubers? Okay. And that could be a real study there. Getting honest with ourselves. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing all that stuff on this end. <laughs> Why do I feel so, you know, especially like with certain people that I'm getting to know, you know, when they come in and say, it's going to go like this, I tend to shut the door and walk away. Why? Because my whole life I've been controlled. And I, whether it's correct or not, I recognize that as a trigger. Okay. And there's a fear that comes behind that trigger of, oh no, you're like all those others who, who you think you're going to tell me how I'm going to live. It's why I get so easily triggered when one of my neighbors wakes me up in the morning. It feels controlling, you know, like you control when I sleep. Is it correct? No. And people watch it, watch it enablers, watch it. How often do you make excuses? P.S. Those neighbors, you know, I talk about my neighbors all the time because <laughs> there are people there in my environment and it's a good example. So why not use it? But, you know, they've been told not just by me, but by other people, hey, you need to keep it down and they do it all the more. So they know what they're doing. It's a control thing. We have to start observing the behaviors. Okay, and everyone's going to have their take on it. You're going to have people who are completely logistical and don't believe in any of this stuff saying that we're all stupid and idiotic and uh, frauds, con artists, whatever. And that would be because the, the ones that are trying to be the most charismatic, the ones that are trying to control everybody, they're the ones that get seen. And so very logistical if I may say, imbalanced people end up just seeing that as the example and they think that's the whole community and they don't go any deeper. They don't know that there's a handful of us out there <laughs> who see it too and we agree and, you know, we're not a part of that. So again, this there's so much more to say. We're going to leave it there. I will say, please let me know. Am I going, I, I'm thinking about whether or not I should continue with the dailies. They're not a ton of work, but they're a little bit of work. And I do feel like they're getting a little repetitive because every day it's kind of like the same thing. And I am questioning, is that then becoming codependent with my audience where every day you need to hear that it's going to be okay before you get in there. So give it some thought. Okay. Don't just comment right away. Give that some thought. Give me the feedback. Um, if you feel like there is real value, I guess I can continue it and I'm still thinking about it, but let me know. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.